Jack the Jealous Cat In a cozy little house with a soft warm mat lived a furry feline named Jack the Cat. Jack was sleek with fur of jet black, but inside his heart there was something he lacked. Jack was jealous of his brother Tim, a ginger tabby with a playful whim. Tim would jump and play all day, while Jack watched from the sidelines feeling dismay. Why do they love Tim more than they love me? Jack wondered each day filled with jealousy. I'm just as smart, and I'm just as cool, but why do I feel I get treated like the fool? Tim always had lots of friends, laughter, and fun, while Jack sat alone, feeling like he had no one. He hissed and he growled, feeling very mad. It seemed everyone loved Tim. It made Jack so sad. One sunny morning, Tim came to play. Come join us, Jack. It's a beautiful day. Jack turned away with a flick of his tail. I'd rather stay here, be alone and wail. Tim sighed and said, I want you to be happy too. There's enough love for me and for you. Jealousy isn't the way to be. Come out, you'll have fun. Just wait and see. Jack thought for a moment, maybe he should give it a try. He followed his brother letting go of his pride. They played and they laughed, chasing a ball. Jack finally felt the joy and the fun of it all. As they frolicked around, the other cats came. They wanted to meet Jack and join in the game. They played hide and seek, tag, and then raced. Jack felt the warmth of the friends he embraced. Jack realized then that Tim wasn't the foe. His jealousy melted. He let it all go. He saw there was love enough to go around. In the hearts of his friends, joy could be found. One day, a white kitten appeared at their door, lost and alone, with paws feeling sore. The two cats both welcomed him in. With purrs and cuddles, they made the kitten grin. They named him Sam and taught him their games. Jack shared his food. Tim did the same. The little kitten was happy and bright, thanks to the brothers who made his world right. Jack learned that jealousy darkens the heart. It keeps friends and family further apart. By sharing and caring, he found the key to a life filled with love and true harmony. So, Jack the Cat, with fur of jet black, became the best friend anyone could have. No more jealousy, just joy and delight, as Jack, Tim, and Sam played from morning to night. Jealousy can make us feel sad and alone, but love and sharing make the heart a home. There's enough joy for everyone to share. Kindness and friendship are beyond compare. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please let us know by pressing the like button and subscribe to this channel for more short stories about other cute animals. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. The Cat Who Wanted to Be a Dog In a cozy house near a green grassy bog lived a cat named Whiskers who wanted to be a dog. He watched the dogs run, bark, and fetch, and wished he could join them, his heartstrings would stretch. Whiskers would see Rover, a big happy hound, chasing his tail as he ran round and round. Oh, what fun it must be, Whiskers would sigh, to bark at the moon and howl at the sky. He envied their collars and the way they could play, running through fields and splashing in bays. But Whiskers, a cat, could only meow, and he wanted to bark, but didn't know how. One sunny morning, he made a bold, daring choice. He'd learn to be a dog and change his meow to a dog voice. He practiced his barking, woof, woof. He tried to shout, but a croaky meow was all that came out. He dug in the garden like dogs often do, but the dirt on his paws made him feel quite blue. He tried running, fetching sticks, but tripped on his tail and took quite a trip. The other dogs watched, some giggled, some stared,
but Rover came over and showed that he cared. Whiskers, my friend, why do you strive to be something you're not? Just be glad you're alive. Whiskers sighed deeply. He thought deep and long. I just want to fit in and feel like I belong. Rover laughed gently and patted his head. Being a dog is fine, but be yourself instead. You've got special skills, like climbing up trees. Your purring is so soft, it puts minds at ease. Dogs are great, yes, but so are you. You can do so much that dogs cannot do. Whiskers thought hard and began to see that being himself was the best way to be. He could jump well and purr with delight. He had great eyesight in the moonlit night. He embraced his cat nature with his newfound pride. He no longer wished to be a dog. He no longer tried. He daydreamed and lounged in the sun. Being a cat was just as fun. One day in the meadow, with dogs all around, Whiskers felt happy, his joy had been found. For he'd learned a great lesson, both simple and true, being yourself is the best thing to do. Rover and Whiskers, though different in kind, stayed the best of friends, two hearts entwined. They'd run and they'd play, each in their own way, and their bond grew stronger with each passing day. So, remember dear children, as you go through your days, embrace who you are in all sorts of ways. You don't need to change to fit in with the crowd. Just be yourself and you'll stand out proud. Tango, the naughty orange cat. In a cozy little house, nestled on the edge of a bustling town, there lived a mischievous orange cat named Tango. Now, Tango was no ordinary cat. He had a twinkle in his eye and a mischievous streak a mile wide that often landed him in all sorts of trouble. One sunny morning, as the birds chirped merrily outside and the sun cast a warm glow through the windows, Tango woke up with a mischievous gleam in his eye. He stretched lazily, his orange fur standing on end as he plotted his next great adventure. Bounding down the stairs with a flick of his tail, Tango found himself in the kitchen, his keen senses tingling with excitement at the sight of a juicy, plump apple sitting on the counter. Now, most cats would have simply ignored the apple and gone about their day, but not Tango. Oh no, Tango had other plans, mischievous plans. With a mischievous grin, Tango batted the apple off the counter with a swift swipe of his paw, sending it rolling across the floor with a satisfying thud. He watched with delight as the apple bounced and rolled, leaving a trail of chaos in its wake. But Tango's mischief didn't stop there. Oh no, he was just getting started. Next, Tango set his sights on the vase of flowers sitting on the windowsill its delicate petals swaying in the gentle breeze. With a flick of his tail, Tango leaped onto the windowsill and sent the vase toppling to the ground with a crash, showering the room in a colorful explosion of petals and leaves. And so, Tango's mischievous adventures continued throughout the day, from knocking over potted plants to unraveling balls of yarn and everything in between. But no matter how much trouble he caused, Tango couldn't help but feel a sense of exhilaration at the thrill of his naughty escapades. However, as the day drew to a close and the sun dipped below the horizon, Tango found himself feeling a pang of guilt for his mischievous deeds. With a heavy heart, he slunk off to bed, vowing to be a better behaved cat tomorrow. But as Tango drifted off to sleep, his dreams were filled with visions of more mischievous adventures to come, for Tango was a naughty orange cat, and mischief was simply in his nature. And so, dear friend, if you ever find yourself in a cozy little house on the edge of this bustling town, beware of the mischievous orange cat named Tango, 
for you never know what naughty adventures he might have in store. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please let us know by pressing the like button. And subscribe to this channel for more short stories about other cute animals. Thank you for watching this video to the end and we hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.